Well, hello, good people, and welcome back to the channel. It's a wonderful Monday afternoon. This is my fourth video in four days, and today I have yet another unpopular opinion video for you. Today's video comes from the 2011 movie, Jumping the Broom. Now, if you've seen the movie already and you're looking at this picture, you're probably thinking to yourself that I'm crazy as hell for taking this position. But as always, I promise that the longer I explain my opinion, the more sense it'll all make. So without any further delay, let's jump right into my unpopular opinion and prepare to agree or disagree with it. The movie Jump in the Broom follows the story of Sabrina and Jason. Sabrina is a lovely young lady from an affluent family who has been having trouble finding a good guy. Well, one day she prays for a good man and as fate would have it, she hits a good man named Jason with her car. After Jason makes a full recovery, he takes Sabrina out on a date, and the rest was history. Jason proposes to Sabrina, and she accepts. Now Jason comes from a family that's more so working class, and when Jason's working class family meets Sabrina's bougie family for the wedding, there's instant clashing between the two. Now while all this is going on, there's also conflict between Sabrina and Jason's mother Pam, mainly because Pam is having trouble letting Jason go. You know, typical mama's boy issues. Later on in the movie, we learn that Sabrina's family has been harboring a huge secret, which is that Sabrina's aunt is really her mother, and the two people she knew as her parents are really her aunt and uncle, who just agreed to raise her as their own. Now Pam overhears Sabrina's family discussing the secret, and later on in the movie, Pam tells Sabrina to ask her parents who her real parents are, and this action causes all the characters in the movie, as well as movie fans, to turn against Pam. Well folks, I'm here to defend Pam, because while her actions seem to be a little cruel and selfish, in my opinion, they were actually honorable and considered a blessing in disguise. Let's first start off by addressing the real issue. For many years, Sabrina's parents and Aunt Geneva hid the truth from her for their own selfish reasons. You see, they had no right to hide the truth from Sabrina. And one could argue that if Pam didn't do what she did, then Sabrina's parents and Aunt Geneva would have taken that secret to the grave or had to explain themselves that Sabrina had ever gotten a genealogy test with ancestry DNA. So one could also argue that what Pam did was necessary. And yes, it may have stung Sabrina a little bit, but I think that if Sabrina had found out the truth down the road, then she would have been even more hurt. Secondly, let's look at what happened following Pam airing out Sabrina's dirty laundry. This seemingly bad deed gave Jason the courage to stand up to his mother and let her know that Sabrina is now the number one woman in his life. It also forced Sabrina's family to do some serious soul searching and give Sabrina the resolution to the situation that was needed to move on. It also caused Pam to do some soul searching and ultimately accept Sabrina as being part of the family. And lastly, one has to ask themselves, if faced with this secret, what would Jesus do? In my humble opinion, I believe that Jesus would have told Sabrina the truth and offered her healing from the hurt that she was in. But that's just my opinion, and I would definitely like to hear what all of you thought about this topic. Feel free to leave your comments below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to reply to everyone. Also, I'm taking suggestions on movies or TV shows that you want me to give an unpopular opinion on. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section below as well. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.